Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, I thought it would be really fun to teach you a new Disney character, quite an old one to the rest of us, but maybe new to a lot of you. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw Dumbo because Disney's new Dumbo, the live action by Tim Burton, is coming out the 26th of March, I believe. So let's go ahead and draw Dumbo in the cartoon fashion, of course. All right, so first off, I'm gonna start with a regular, I'm kinda gonna round this out just a little bit, like square it out, like it's gonna be a little bit of a square. And then I'm gonna curve this around and then go right back down, circle around and go back. After this, I'm gonna jump around, back behind his head. I'm gonna go around, circle, and like go right back up. So it kind of looks like an ant right now. He looks like a little ant. It's adorable. The thing I'd like to do is just kind of lay out where his legs are gonna go. So I'm gonna do one right here. And then we're gonna do a round one right here. We're gonna come back to the bottom. Make a round circle here. Keep this nice and round at his body. And then I'm actually gonna go right underneath we're gonna go a little bit underneath right here and make a round circle here. All right, let's jump to his face. What we're going to do, I'm still going to give him that eye guideline and of course the nose line, even though he's got a longer nose than the rest of us, we're still seeing a three quarter turn and we have to make sure that we see that. So I'm actually gonna start with the left side of his face first. I'm gonna jump over here and make an oval, pretty wide oval. And then I'm gonna jump over here off to the side and make another oval. After those two little ovals, I'm actually going to make a circle right here. So that should be the entire width of his nose. So his nose isn't going to be too long, but we are going to start from on top of our circle at the corner of the left eye. And we're gonna go ahead, go out. So it's not too long, we're gonna stop right about there. You're gonna go ahead and circle in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump below right here of his trunk, go underneath and round this off. But then we're going to make like a little, little opening right here for the inside of his nose. So this part will go down over here bring this up a little bit and then I'm gonna go underneath. You're gonna curve inwards, go out a little bit to bring out the width of his trunk and then go back into our circle and just right alongside that circle we made, that's where we're gonna go right back. So you're gonna go underneath, go under the circle and you're gonna make like the top of his little dimple. So there's his nose, pretty simple. And then I'm gonna jump on top right here, give one little line of definition here to his nose and another line of definition right here. Well, after that, for his mouth, since we're right here, we're gonna go ahead from the dimple, you're gonna go down, curve in. So you see I'm curving inwards, go down, and then go back up into his trunk. All right, so then we have his mouth and we're jump inside, give him a tongue. And you can kind of go in and shade the inside of his mouth. There's the inside of his mouth. And then I'm gonna jump off to the side of the mouth. So right here, I'm gonna jump a little bit over here. Curve in, go up. And curve in like that. So we're gonna go curve in and then go in like that. All right. So then I can jump off to the side of his mouth right here where we have this little indention. I'm gonna go underneath and start to circle in, give him more of a little bit of a cheekbone. And there we have his full face put together. So that's the overall image of his face, but we're gonna shape up this over here a little bit, but let's fix his eyes first. He's got super cute eyes. So I'm gonna jump inside the right eye here. Go ahead and give him his pupil iris area. 
and then I'm going to jump in, give him his pupil. He's got a little shine right here, and you can color in his pupil, and he has bright blue eyes, but I'm sure in the live action film he has brown. And then he's got these adorable little eyelashes, so we're going to jump on top of his eye. This is really thick up here, so it's a nice thick line lining the top of his eye, and you're going to do one and two two single little eyelashes. And then you're gonna go underneath his eye and you're just gonna crease upwards to give that little bit of a smile line. And then you're gonna jump over here. We're gonna go ahead and fill in his pupil iris area. Go to the corner of that left eye. So the pupil, ir the pupil is going to be down on top of the nose ridge, that area. And then we've got a little bit of a shine right here. Same over here, it's a blue, blue iris. Then for his eyelash over here, we're gonna darken the side, the left side where his nose ridge is. Darken here, darken the top, and go one, and two. Two little eyelashes. Let's fix the shape of his head just a little bit more. You're gonna jump on the side of his trunk right here. And you're gonna go ahead and bring out his cheek. So his cheek's gonna go out, and then we're gonna go into his eye. So we go out a little bit from the trunk, and then in. And then we're gonna start to go up. So round out that cheek, and then go up. So the thing about Dumbo's face is we've got from this particular <clears throat> elephant skulls are a little bit different. So if we were to like stop here and you see how we have this square space going on right here. So I have this square space, right? Well, the thing is we're going to add a little bit more. So let's keep this square look to his face right now. So I'm going to jump on top and we're going to go up curve curve around so we keep this top of his head curve it around and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and circle right back down but we want to the thing about elephant skulls are a little bit shaped they're shaped a little bit different because what we need essentially is on the top of his head we need to place his little yellow hat. All right, so on top of his little head, all the way up here, we're gonna start to make his hat. So right where this corner is, we're gonna curve inwards and we're gonna make that top of that hat and it's sitting right on top of his head. And then we're gonna leave this little curved spot right here, bald part of his head just kind of open so we can start to make his ear. So. Right here, you're going to go up and curve down, and I'm going to curve that line. So I go up, curve down and around, then I'm actually going to jump on here, jump in top, on top of here, so I'm going to go curve inward, go out, curve in, so I curve in the top of that hat. And then I'm going to just jump right here and curve down back into the little box shape. So it kind of start, it's starting to look a little bit like a cake. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ju just jump down here and then jump right in the middle of right. So I'm going to get rid of this little guideline right here so we can see it a little bit better. So this curved line, I'm going in and curving and going up. I keep this line here and then this line. And then from his little hat right here, we're gonna keep it like this, nice and rounded. Keep this nice and rounded. And then from the little the little falling part, the folds of his hat here, make two little folds here. All right, next comes the big fun part, his ears. So his ears are gonna probably take up like most of each side of your page. So what we're going to do, I'm going to leave this little bald spot here for his head, and then I'm going to start one ear here. So I start one ear right about here, and then I'm going to jump off to the side and kind of keep it the same, same height, same width, 
I mean, you want to keep it on the same level of the other ear. So I'm going to start the other ear right there. So let's start with the right ear. So I'm going to start, go out. down. So you see how I start to curve it? I go out, curve down, get pretty close to my page. So I start to curve down and then I'm going to start going in. So after I go in, I just curve it in right here and then I'm going to curve down and in back into his head. So you see it kind of looks like a weird pedal or wave. So there's one ear. Now, since we're seeing more of this side, this, this ear is gonna be bigger than over here because it's a three quarter turn. So for this ear over here, we're gonna go out. Same way, we're gonna go up and then down. So you're gonna go up. And we're gonna curve it. So we see we go out curve. Get pretty close to that page too. And then I'm going to curve, go in. So I go in and then I'm going to go underneath his trunk a little bit. And that's going to go into the side of his face on the other side of his body. There we go, we got two ears. Now let's go ahead and define the ear a little bit more. So we're gonna jump a little bit down underneath this line here. And you're gonna go ahead and make that gray part of his ear. So I go underneath, go up. I'm gonna line the side of his ear. And it's gonna get a little bit skinnier towards the bottom. So this part is all gray and this part is pink. And then I'm gonna jump inside of his ear. So I'm gonna go underneath right there and make this little fold. And then his actual head is overlapping in front of his ear there. So I'll go and clear up some guidelines in a second, but let's jump over to this side and do what we did here to on this side. So you're going to jump a little bit down from this line. You're going to curve in. So you see how I curved in there. Go up. And then down alongside. And then we have that gray part on that side. All right, let's clear up some guidelines. So you see once how clean everything looks once we get rid of a lot of our guidelines. Next what we're going to do is I'm going to jump underneath Dumbo's nose and give him his little cute like uh, little neck thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like a clown thing so I'm going to go underneath his nose. Bring out that cute little piece of cloth. It's like it looks like a scarf almost. And I'm going to go underneath on top of his legs. So I'm going to go out and under. It looks like a little bit of a wave and it's going to go back up into under his ear. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump right here and I'm actually going to curve it like it's folding over. Now the thing about this cute little neck scarf thing is it's red and it's yellow so I'm going to jump in here and just follow the line that I made. That cute little, I have a line here, I'm gonna go in here. Follow that. There we go, that's the yellow and red little neck scarf. And now let's go ahead and finish up his legs. So where this circle is right here, I'm just gonna go underneath his little scarf. I'm gonna make another circle. So I roughly place where they were gonna go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make this oval here. And then underneath, I'm gonna go in right here, go out. And then I'm gonna stop here. 
go in curve and I'm still going to keep this spot right here. And then what happens is this part stays for like the indention of his knee curling. And then right here, you're going to jump on top of his knee, make one line here, one line here, one line here. Just to give that wrinkle, even baby elephants are wrinkly. And then you're going to give him his toes. One toe here, and then one toe here. After that, we're gonna we're gonna keep this circle definitely. So we're gonna keep this side of the circle, and then I'm gonna jump back here, curve that little toe. So we have another foot there, and you're gonna make a toe here. They just look like the little orange slices. And then a toe here, and you're just going to give little indentions of a line right on top of his little kneecap. Let's jump to this little toe here. You're going to go out, and then you're going to curve in. You're going to keep this little circle, this little oval underneath. curve here for that little toe and then curve here because this is the bottom of his foot. So you're going to keep his little belly and let's get this last leg so it's in the right spot thankfully. This is the only one that was in the wrong spot. I'm going to curve right here and you're going to go ahead and curve for that toe and you're going to make a, another oval because we're it's going to be the bottom of his foot again. So we're making another oval, but still keep that top of that curve of the toe. And you're going to come around the side, round that part in. And then you're going to go alongside here. So then we're going to jump up here, make one little toe and then make another little toe. And I'm gonna shade the bottom of his foot. And you're gonna jump up here, make a little indention for his wrinkly knee. So from his tummy, we need to bring out his butt just a little bit more. So I'm gonna lightly draw through this foot. Make sure I got his little butt coming out and go ahead and keep that same roundness that we started with. And then he's got a little itty bitty tail, so we're gonna jump down right here. Curve, so it's just a little bit behind this leg. Curve this out. And then go back in. And there's his easy little tail. There he is. And there you go. There's how to draw Dumbo from Disney's Dumbo. Hope you all will go see the live action one. Tim Burton's doing it. I hope it's good. <laughs> Bye guys. Hope you have a good week.